I'm going to prime the skin now using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. Um, this is a really beautiful primer to use under the Sensual Skin Enhancer, which is like a kind of concealer, but it's also beautiful to use with other foundations too, because I just find it really helps to... And for foundation, I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation, which is a really kind of lightweight, almost has a watery texture, but you can actually build it up to be a little bit more coverage if you want to. Um, I'm using this one on Ari's skin because obviously she has such beautiful skin that I want to keep it looking really natural and really just kind of even out the tone rather than cover too much. And this is a really beautiful, lightweight, and also a little bit hydrating kind of refine the texture of skin and create this base that gives a little bit of grip so that foundation stays put. So I'm just putting on some NARS shadow primer in the shade medium now. This is going all over the lids just to make sure that eyeshadow stays put and doesn't crease. I wanted to kind of give the skin a chance to settle before I finish it just so that I can see where needs powdering um, and where doesn't so that we don't over powder later on. So now is the part where I'm going to put some kind of sculpting and shape, kind of the base to the shape on the eye. I'm using a brown coal pencil. I'm just sketching along the lash line. I'm also going to kind of sketch up this wing shape here and in this socket that I really want to emphasize. And because it's a coal pencil, you've got a little bit of playtime when it comes to blending. So you can actually just pop that shape on first and then go back over with a, br with a brush to just blend and soften the lines. So with the same brush that I used to apply that primer, I'm just going back over the top of that liner and just really kind of light touch and small movements and that helps to blend those lines and then just give us that kind of smoky base. And now I'm going to go back over the top of that with a softer, fluffier brush just to really kind of blend and diffuse those hard edges. So that is literally just the coal pencil blended on the lids now. I'm going to apply a little bit of shadow. Um, these are shadows from the Natasha Denona Safari palette. And just popping a shadow on top is just going to act like setting your foundation with a powder. And it's just going to give a little bit more intensity of colour as well. And make sure that everything stays put. So I'm just popping like a warm brown shade in the socket here. And I'm also going to work that underneath the eyes too. Just kind of taking a pinky peachy shade now and I'm going to go in the crease here and this is just kind of going to act as a transitional colour to give us a little bit more of a blend between that brown and Ari skin tone. So I'm just taking a really deep shade on kind of like a little flat brush here and I'm just going to pop that along Ari's lash line just to create a little bit more intensity and smokiness. And the reason I'm doing this is kind of like the last step to eyeshadow because having those other shades on first really helps us to go on seamlessly and blend easily. I'm using a shade called Aya from the Safari palette and it says, well, this is one of my favorite kind of nudie shades. Um, I'm just gonna pack this now into the center of the lid and that is just gonna help further define that kind of shape of a soft and a crease on Ari's eyes. <laughs> I'm going to line the eyes now using a little bit of gel liner. This is an Ingolop liner. Um, the reason I'm using this one specifically is because this one stays put so well. So anyone that is kind of worried about liner transferring or has hooded eyes, then this is the perfect liner to use to really kind of keep that staying power. I'm just going to line all the way along the lash line and slightly up into kind of a winged shape too. So I'm just going to curl Ari's lashes and then apply some individual ones. Curling them first just really helps to almost create like a ledge um, so that the individual ones sit in the right place and in the right direction. So I'm going to use my No Lash Lash Individuals from Swede Lashes. And I'm going to start with just some longer length in the outer corner and then just work my way to slightly shorter ones in the inner corner, which gives a really kind of feathery and natural look to the lash. So that's the lashes on the top. And what I'm doing now is I'm just taking a really kind of tiny short length from the packet and I'm just gonna kind of flip them over and pop them along the bottom lash line 
and that's just going to help to kind of give a really kind of furry lash look that's a little bit more balanced being on the bottom too. them a little bit more longevity. So now that the lashes are on, I'm just going to go over them with a little bit of mascara and this is just going to help the false ones stick to Ari's natural lashes and also give them a little bit more volume. Um, so I always like to apply a mascara after actually applying an individual lash. Um, and actually sometimes people think that applying mascara can take the lashes off, but once that glue is dry, and there's no reason why you can't go over it with a mascara wand. And then actually sticking those lashes to your natural lashes. So eyes are pretty much done now, so I'm just gonna finish the skin and I'm using a little bit of the rhodial banana powder because this will help to kind of set and mattify but also keep the skin looking really nice and bright and fresh, especially around this area under the eyes. And I'm also gonna make sure that I powder under cheekbones because then when I add a little bit of contouring, we can make sure that that contouring goes on really evenly and not patchy. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of sculpting now. I'm using this beautiful new palette by Kevin Aquan. Um, and I'm going to use a sculpting light powder and start just from under Ari's beautiful cheekbones here. And I want this look to kind of be really nicely sculpted because it's going to help to tie in the skin with the eyes. So under the cheekbones, also a little bit just at the side of the temples here, that really helps to kind of create that look where it goes kind of in and then out and then in and creates real dimension of the skin. I'm also going to pop a little bit of this along the top of the forehead too. And now I'm just going to use the blush from this palette, a little bit more towards the kind of peachy side, and just kind of dust that across the apples of the cheeks so that it blends really nicely with that contour. And also that little bit of warmth helps to tie it in with the shade on the eyes. Also gonna take some of that um, lighter contour shade on a little brush and just bring that down here, just as a kind of continuation of the shape on the eye and to give a little bit of light sculpting just across the bridge of the nose. Going to move on to brows now and I'm very excited to do Aries brows as always because I just think it's going to really finish this look. So I've just put a little bit of a setting spray in Soap Brows Tin and then just with a spoolie I am going back over the top of her brows just to kind of deposit that product throughout the brows. Um, and with, whenever you're using a product like this where you kind of have to go back in with um, the same brush and kind of reapply then it's really kind of easy just to spray alcohol over the top and then wipe the top layer of the product after you've used it on one person just to keep it sanitary for the next person. So as you can see I've done one brow and I'm just using a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown which is a slightly warmer shade than Ari's brows just because her hair is a little bit warmer so I always try to kind of balance brows with the hair shade. Um, and I'm just using a little angle brush to kind of draw in these like replica hair strokes. And it really helps that, helps that that soap was on beforehand just to kind of stick the brow hairs down to the skin, which helps you create this kind of third brow look. So I'm using this new Marc Jacobs highlighter now. I love a cream highlighter and this is kind of a beautiful champagne-y shade. So I'm just going to pop this in all the places that I want to add a little bit of glow to skin, like tops of the cheekbones, bridge of the nose. Um, and I love the fact that this gives a beautiful dewy kind of glow to keep skin looking fresh and natural rather than a powdery highlighter. That looks beautiful on Ari's beautiful skin. Everything looks beautiful on your skin. I'm using a By Terry lip liner in the shade Perfect Nude, which is actually one of the most perfect nudes really love this shade. So I'm just going to go very, very slightly over Ari's natural lip line, especially in these outer corners here and the top lip, just to give kind of more of a balanced shape to her pout, but keep it still quite full but natural. 
That looks so beautiful on Ari's skin. And my son is in the background just having a feed of green with it by making lots of noises. <laughs> um, we're just gonna do lips now. I've just kind of colored in the whole lip with that lip liner and that just gives it a little bit more longevity. Now I'm using one of my favorite nude glosses, which is the Dior Stella Addict Lip Shine in the shade um, 640, which is called Jadior. Such a pretty kind of pinky nude this that suits so many different skin tones. As the very last step, I'm just going to set using the new um, Hourglass Self Focus Setting Spray before Luke does hair, and then we show you the finished look. And I really love this setting spray because it comes out as such a fine mist and actually just makes skin look really kind of um, diffused and flawless and keeps makeup on. So Luke has just created this fabulous hair which looks so beautiful on Ari and then just as the very final touch I'm going to be using the all even um, glow luminizer and I'm just going to actually spray that directly on Ari's shoulders and down her arms and what that does is it just gives the skin a really kind of beautiful flawless finish helps to even out any skin tone cover any bruises anything like that and just ensures and so here is our finished look, obviously with this beautiful hair that Luke has created. He is a master as always, and Ari looks absolutely stunning, so I hope you guys enjoyed.